Hello, this is an FNA from a papillary thyroid carcinoma, and we're looking at the air-dried smears at the low magnification view. The first very striking thing is that the smear is highly cellular, which is uh, quite a common finding in papillary thyroid carcinoma. Usually we see a lot of these sheets of follicular cells. At higher magnification, in this uh, particular sheet, we can see that there's some degree of branching of the follicular cells, and there is here a little central branching fragment of stroma with a small blood vessel running through here and here. And this corresponds to the fibrovascular cause that uh, we can see in papillary structures. And here are some flat sheets of follicular cells. They are not exactly honeycomb in uh, the architecture. We can actually see that there's some degree of nuclear crowding and overlapping. And um, here on the top, we can see a multinucleated giant cell and another one here. These are also features that are very frequently seen in papillary thyroid carcinoma, although they are not specific. And here is a flatter sheet Sometimes there is a vague whirling architecture as well. And here on high magnification, we can actually see a couple of intranuclear inclusions. The follicular cells have a fairly homogeneous cytoplasm. Here again, we can see very well-formed nuclear inclusions. And over here again, we can see quite a large multinucleated giant cell. These can be quite readily identified on histology, uh, especially uh, in the follicular structures in PTC. And over here, there is a cluster of neoplastic cells with very bubbly cytoplasm, finely vacuolated cytoplasm. And this is often seen when there is cystic change in PTC. At higher magnification, we can see that we are focusing up and down, and you can appreciate these well-formed cytoplasmic vacuoles. Here is another example of PTC looking at the air-dried smear, and this uh, field shows a very well-formed papillary structure. We can even see the architecture of the epithelial cells, and here again we can appreciate the fibrovascular finger-like core which is covered by epithelium. Here is another area where we can see the very slender fibrovascular cores and yet another area where the cores are very well demonstrated. This is the alcohol fixed smear of uh, another very classical case of PTC. And again, we can appreciate the marked cellularity of the sample. There are many sheets of uh, neoplastic cells. Some of them appear a little bit folded. And again, we can appreciate these multinucleated giant cells. Over here, there is some thick colloid. And this colloid is often described as chewing gum or bubble gum colloid. It can be appreciated both in the air-dried and alcohol-fixed smears. In this higher magnification view, we can see that the cells still form monolayers, but there is a degree of disorganization and some nuclear crowding. And as we focus up and down on higher magnification, you can see that the nuclei are actually overlapping each other. Uh, the other important feature is that the nuclei are quite oval. Not all are oval, but there is a significant proportion that is oval in shape. And another useful feature is that when you compare the nuclear size to that of the adjacent surrounding red blood cells, these nuclei are significantly larger. In this cell sheet, we can appreciate the longitudinal nuclear grooves very clearly, and the nuclei really closely resemble coffee beans. The chromatin is very fine and powdery, and here we can see a very well-formed intranuclear inclusion. It helps when you focus up and down to actually appreciate the inclusions. And here again is a high magnification view showing the overlapping of the nuclei. And this feature is uh, helpful in differentiating this from the honeycomb flat sheets that we see in colloid nodules. Note the nuclear grooves the powdery fine chromatin, and again compare the nuclear size to that of red blood cells. 
So in summary, we have looked at the cytologic features of papillary thyroid carcinoma, namely uh, usually high cellularity, syncytial sheets of abnormal follicular cells with nuclear overlapping and crowding, fibrovascular cause of true papillary structures which may or may not be present, and in the background, multinucleated giant cells and thick colloid. On high magnification, we have noted the nuclear enlargement, the oval-shaped nuclei, powdery chromatin, nuclear grooves, and nuclear inclusions. Thank you.